Hi everybody, welcome. In this video, we are going to look at how to execute multiple actions in parallel in Oracle integration. So let's begin. Recently, Oracle has released a new action called parallel, which allows to execute multiple tasks in parallel. You should be on the version 12.12. .12 at least to use that important action called parallel. We all were waiting this action since long back and now Oracle has launched this, which allows us to execute multiple tasks in parallel. For example, you are subscribing some business events from any source application, maybe Oracle ERP, HCM, and some other application where employee gets created. And then you would like to send the employee details into multiple downstream application parallelly because the downstream application works independently. So you, without waiting the first app, first request to be completed, you would like to execute both the request in parallel. You would like to send the request to multiple downstream application parallelly to create the employee. So parallel will help in all those scenarios, in all those use cases where you would like to execute multiple actions in parallel. So this is how the parallel action looks like. So it allows us to create multiple branches. We can add multiple branches and then put our applications invoke and then call it. As of here, only invoke and map is supported in the parallel, but maybe going forward in the future, more actions like notifications, like for each and like switch will be, will be supported within the branches. But as of yet in version 12.12, .12, only inbox and mapper are allowed. Now let's look at how to use the parallel action in Oracle integration three. So here, I am going to create one REST API, which will accept a request payload like employee payload. And then I would like to create this employee into two downstream application. One, I would like to insert the data into the ATP. Similarly, would like to create the file from that employee record. So two actions will call. So for that, I will create a app driven orchestration here. And let's say parallel action. And I can give this package com .ts .use cases and click on a create button. So first of all, I'm going to use the REST connection. Let's say employee, employee, next. I will say EMP and that will be of post type. Next, configure a request payload and configure this endpoint to receive the response. Next. And then here I will use the JSON sample and will upload the data here. Let me take some some uh, sample request, which I have already in line. Here is my request. I will not take gender here. Okay, so here I am taking employee array, first name, last name, qualification, age and department. Okay, next on the response screen, I will choose the JSON and will say status. Okay, next and finish. Now this is my rest. Okay, now here, let's use the action after the trigger. So when you click on the actions menu, you will find a new action called parallel under logic. So what you need to do, you simply need to drag and drop wherever you would like to execute multiple actions. So let's 
put it here. When we put, it will create two branches automatically. Branch one, branch two. You can name those branches. So click here and add it to edit the name of this parallel action. Let's say edit and let's click on edit and let's say employ execution. And apply. So there are two branches by default. Now, if you would like to edit the name of the branch, you again click on these three dots, click on an edit, click on an edit and say DB insert. Okay, click outside and you can see the name. Similarly, you can name this branch. You can also double click to edit it, double click. Click edit and let's say FTP insert. So here you have created two branches. So there are two branches. So if you would like to add more branches, you can click here and you can click on add to add more branches. So you can add multiple branches to execute multiple actions together. If you would like to delete, click here and then delete this branch. Okay, now here, let's make a DB call in this branch and make a FTP call in this branch. So, insert our DB action, which is my ATP action. And let's say, insert. I already have a table into my database, insert. So here, you need to choose perform an operation on a table and use insert next. Choose the schema. This is the admin schema and search all the tables. I have a single table called employee. Next. Next. Sorry, you have to click on import tables. Next. And finish. So this will insert the data into my DB. So you can double click on the mapper to do the mapping from your request to DB. Click here, request wrapper. Employee, employee, first name, last name, qualification, age, and department. Find, validate, and close. This is a simple mapping, right? So it will make the call to the DB and will insert the data. Similarly, let me click on this plus button and let me make a FTP call. Let's say, create file next let's say write file as sky let me take the directory where the file will be created let me provide the directory and pattern is emp underscore sequence dot csv next i will create a csv file next and i will provide one file that I already have, sample file, open, let's say data and data set. Here, let me make all column as an optional and make first name as a mandatory for the time being. Next, and finish. And now update this mapper data set, data, request wrapper, employee and put employee to data, first name to first name, last name to last name, qualification to qualification, department to department and age to age. So let's keep full name and gender unmapped. Fine, validate and then close this. Now you have created two branches and both the actions will be executed in parallel. Now update the response mapper map and let's hard code the response as a success here. Right click, create target node and let's say success. That's it. So that's how you can easily 
execute multiple actions in parallel with the help of parallel branch, with the help of parallel action. Let me simply enable the business identifier, save and close. And now let's activate this. Refresh. And now run this and body. So let's say incur IT ages 32 and let's say Jan. Okay, so this is my employee. So you can have one more record if you want, but that's fine. And let me show you my database. Nothing is here as of now. No data. Let me run this and let's see what happens. So it will take little time to execute both the actions. So here you see how quickly the data has been inserted. Is that a success? Now you can see parallel both the branches executed in parallel 432 51 613 pm. Right? So both branch, both the actions has been executed in parallel. So this is how you can execute multiple actions parallelly. And let's say here, the data is here. And let me show you my FTP and the file should be created here too. Refresh. Okay, here we go. The file is here. So this is how you can use parallel action in Oracle integration. So I hope you find this video very useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.